Welcome to another educational video by Catspit Productions about screen printing. Most specifically, about screen printing t-shirts, because that's what we do here at Catspit Productions. Uh, we are currently in the process of rearranging the shop a little bit and uh, making some upgrades, hopefully, so I forgive uh, a little of the chaos here. But today, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, scoop coating tips or uh, coating your screens with emulsion tips. You know, a little, a few pointers on uh, your scoop coaters and working with emulsion in the scoop coater. Okay, and obviously this is a scoop coater. All right, this particular type of scoop coater has two edges. Okay, there's a thin edge which will leave a, a thinner deposit of emulsion on your screen and there's a thicker rounded edge which will leave a heavier deposit of emulsion on your mesh, okay? So most of the time we're using the thin edge and we just, we just use that for pretty much all the passes on the screen. This, uh, this you would use in certain situations where you would want a heavier, or heavier deposit of emulsion or a thicker stencil, okay? Remember that for, uh, for higher detailed prints you want a thinner stencil for a heavier ink deposit, you would want a thicker stencil. So sometimes with t-shirts, you have to compromise detail and ink deposit between the, you know, the emulsion over uh, mesh thickness. How far or how thick is your emulsion on here, okay? Now, there are also different kinds of scoop coaters. Here's a single bladed scoop coater with a, uh, a little bit of a handled back on it and it also has the end caps are screwed in, okay? Let's take a close-up look at these two. Okay, so here's the uh, two scoop coaters side by side, and you can see that one of them has screws on it. That's the single blade scoop coater on the left, has uh, two little screws that hold the end cap on. The other one is supposed to be a snug fit or a, or a snap fit, but sometimes those don't stay on very well. Okay, so, like I said, here's the single, you see it, how it has one blade on the right side and it has a handled edge over there, okay? So that's one type of scoop coater. And then you have this type here, which is very common these days, which has a thicker rounded edge there, right? See it? And then a thinner edge over here, okay? So that's the scoop coaters of two different kinds. You've got the single edge blade and your double edge blade scoop coater. Okay. Okay, so now you can see that there are choices to be made with your scoop coater. Do you want, do you want the du dual edge scoop coater? I think this is the better one to have because it's more versatile and it leaves you with options. You can use either side. Um, you just have to make sure that your end caps are secure on this type that's cut to size. You know, you might have to glue these if they don't stay on there snug because that's the last thing you want is the end cap falling off while you have emulsion in there. And remember these things come with covers when you buy them. It's a very good idea to keep your cover on here because you want to avoid getting nicks or abrasions in this blade edge, the scoop coater blade, okay? And if you get nicks and such in here, you know, it's going to ruin the performance of the scoop coater. So you want to keep your cap on your scoop coater when you're not using it. That way, if you bump it into something, you drop it or, or whatever, you should be pretty safe. And, you know, it's, a, it's just a good idea to do that, okay? So, let me show you a close-up of one. We'll show you a close-up of one blade that has uh, some nicks in it. See if you can see that. Okay. If you can see that little, those two little shiny nicks at the end of that scoop coater on the blade edge. This is the rounded side. This is the fatter side. But you see those two little nicks there. Okay, I can't get too close. The camera doesn't like to focus, but those two little bright spots down at the end there are two little nicks, which basically ruin the scoop coater because it will leave streaks up and down your mesh with those two little indentations there. Okay, so you want to avoid that. If you get a scoop coater, you buy one and it's like that, send it back 
That's garbage. Okay? So be careful of that. Take very good care of your scoop coaters. Okay, so now hopefully you saw that uh, close up of the edge here, the two little nicks down here. Like I said, it's really important to keep these clean, keep them really smooth because you're going to be doing this. Oh, and that brings us to another thing. What about size? Well, this doesn't fit. This, is, this doesn't work. It does this work? Okay, so some shops might, you might want to have this one because you might have automatic screens. Well, you can do little manual jobs like this and then the bigger automatic ones you do upright, okay? But for a screen, a 20 by 24 manual textile screen, most of the time your scoop cord is going to be about 16 inches, okay? So here's a double blade, 16 inches fits right in there, you see that, that's nice, as opposed to if it's too short, then you have to make two passes, and you end up with a double layered emulsion, it's no good, so you want, you want one pass, okay, here's the single bladed scoop coater, fits right in there, you go up, and remember you, you're going to bring, you're going to put the scoop coater down here, put it up against the screen, let the emulsion come in contact with the mesh, and slowly move up and then twist this up to clean off the ink and get, wait a second for it to go back down into the trough into the coater and then you pull it off and you should be good okay remember that uh, as soon as you put as soon as you open up your emulsion and you have emulsion in the scoop coater it can form a skin pretty quickly so whenever you open your container of emulsion or you're working with emulsion in the scoop coater it's always a good idea to work fast and you know work quickly and uh, you know what happens too is over a, uh, a longer like say you're coating a lot of screens if you stop in between a couple of screens and you let the edge of the scoop coater get a little tacky when you come back to start again it's gonna be you know you might it may be a little hard because now the edge is tacky and it's gonna it's gonna skid a little bit and you gotta get it going again. So if you're if you're coating a whole bunch of screens at once, it's best to just go straight through the whole run and coat them all consecutively. And that way the emulsion on the blade edge won't dry on you and give you a little hassle uh, that way. And uh, that's that's about it for today. Uh, you know, please support Cat Spit's, Cat Spit Productions. Uh, by rating five stars, subscribing, um, and uh, leaving comments. That's a great way to support us and help us grow without really uh, doing a whole lot yourself except a couple of clicks on the computer. So it's a cool thing. You can show your support and uh, it's greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching Cat Spit Production educational videos. Make sure to visit the website, rate five stars, please subscribe.